I use what's called interval timer, so I hope you guys um, can find something that's free as well. We're gonna start with opening up those wrists again. And it's just so good because anytime that you go down onto your hands, you're going to need to open up those wrists and warm them up first. It's really what's gonna help to decompress the wrist area, increase the strength and the blood flow in the area, and prevent any injuries. So I'm starting here. And all we're doing is we're, we're opening up the wrist flexors. So this really helps to just decrease any tension right there. Normally I would hold this for about two minutes, but we don't have quite as much time. So I'm just gonna flip it over, go right into the press ups, and then slowly control it down. Let your body weight drift over and then come up again. Let it drift over. And just keep moving back and forth just like this. So we do about five to 10. Great. Then I want your hands out a little bit. I want you opening up and then rounding out. So we're going to do about five to ten of these. Really just opening up that upper back. Oh, getting that to move a little bit in case you're a little stiff. Then we're going to open all the way out into a lunge. So I want to bring the front leg up. And then you're going to cross it behind your leg and try to sit back and then switch legs. So bring it up as much as you can without walking it up, really warming up and activating those hips, and then lift it off, cross it back, and sit back. So we'll try that again. Lift that foot up, try to reach without crawling it, and then try to lift it off, cross it back, and sit back. And then with the other side, same thing. All right, so that's our 30 second mark. Going right into burpees. So I'm gonna come down, push up, jump onto my feet and right back up, okay? So this is the original burpee, but if you want to uh, modify it at all, which is totally fine, just come out to that plank, jump your feet up and up. If you don't wanna do the jump, you just come in, reach up, I recommend going to those toes before you come back down. Okay, now we're gonna lie flat on our stomach and do some prone swimmers. <laughs> Already getting out of breath. <laughs> so coming down onto your stomach, arms extend, and you're gonna lift your body, and I want you to just swim. So here we're gonna really focus on our arms coming above our ears. Belly is still tight and squeezing. Legs don't bend, but you extend so that we're using your glutes to lift off the floor and your lower traps to pull. Good. <laughs> oh, very nice, guys. Now we're gonna stand up, get that cardio going a little bit more with some high knees. Whew. Okay, so I want your hands to be up about belly button height and you're gonna try to reach your knees up to your hands, okay? So it's not about being down here. <laughs> Challenge yourself and make those knees go all the way up. <laughs> Whoo, keep breathing. <laughs> if that's too much, you're just gonna be going back and forth, but the intention is to keep that heart rate as elevated as you can. So try not to make it too easy for yourself. Try to keep going, but if you do have some knee injuries, that's totally a fine progression to do. Now we're gonna twist it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you from the front, coming back, we're gonna cross into that transverse plane and then come back. So these are curtsy lunges, crossing into each other and coming back. The entire time you can tell, my knee stays pretty much over my ankle and in line with my second toe still coming back. You get a greater glute stretch this way, and then it fires up to come up. So it's actually a really great glute mead exercise. Whew. Hard to talk and do this at the same time. Okay, going right back into those burpees again. So again, if you come out to the plank, that's fine. And the hips don't drop. Okay, if you want to walk it up, also a fine. Okay, you can notice that in my push-up, my thumbs still go right along my nipple line. Coming up, 
jumping up, okay? Ooh, keep breathing. All right, and remember, it's a short workout, but the strength and the level is dependent on how much you keep going. So if you want a harder workout, really push yourself and only take those 10 second breaks. Okay, so I continue to look down at the mat the entire time. If I look up, then I'm putting my neck under some tension and increasing that cervical tightness right here. So what I want to do is continue to look at the ground and even do a little chin tuck so that I'm elongating through here and actually strengthening into my deep neck flexors. <sighs> okay. Right back to those high knees. Now I'm gonna show you a progression. So if you really wanted to bump up this, you go into tuck jumps. Coming up. <laughs> okay, and it's all about the landing. So landing really soft onto your toes and then right back up into the air. Or same thing, it's still soft on the toes as you're going into those high knees. So remember guys, <laughs> short workout, but you can always make it as hard as you can. Oh, I'm definitely feeling it, that's for sure. Okay, going right back into curtsy lunges. Whew. So you're gonna cross behind and then squeeze on the way up, cross and squeeze. Really sitting that bottom back and coming up. My core stays tight. My back is neutral. I bend from the hips and then squeeze it up. Okay, this way when you bend from the hips, you get an even greater stretch into those glutes so they contract and activate even more. Whew. Okay, we're halfway through. <sighs> Two more rounds, guys. You got this. Okay, here we go, right back into burpees. Remember, keeping that heart rate Elevated. As I come down, I'm not dropping and lifting. That's more of a different exercise because now you're getting more into back extension. The reason I don't like that is because you tend to just bend from the lower back and that can cause a lot of compression here. So I actually like your core to stay on and engage the entire way up, entire way down. All right, arms out, looking at the floor, chin tucked, getting those arms to try to reach over your head. Again, trying not to bend in the elbows. When we bend in the elbows, that's where we start to not really use those lower traps, you're actually cheating and using more upper traps. So we don't want that, right? We want arms out. And you can even increase that shoulder girdle engagement by bringing those thumbs up to the ceiling and doing this more. So that causes a little bit more external rotation right at those arms. Okay? Right back into high knees. Whew, here we go. Oh, yes, keep it going. <laughs> Getting those knees up. This is actually a core workout too, because you have to get those knees up, and it's really good for those hip flexors that you feel are tight. You're actually getting them to bounce and release and strengthen at the same time. Whew. Oh, that's tough. Okay, back into curtsy lunges now. Whew. Here we go, crossing around, sitting back, squeezing up. And you can go a little bit faster, and that's gonna get a little bit more engagement. Keep that heart rate elevated. Breathe. Remember, we gotta breathe through all of these exercises. Whew. Cross behind, squeeze it up. Good job, guys. Okay, this is it. Last round. You totally got this. No problem. 10-minute workout. Done. Here we go. 
go to your hardest progression that's still going to be safe for your body and your shoulders to be able to do. Whew. Keep it going. Last round. Oh, you got it. <laughs> And then back on the floor, we're doing our prone swimmers. Here we go. Laying down. Remember, thumbs can be up for more external rotation. Arms straight, legs straight, chin tucked. Breathe. Whew. So good. Last two things and then you're done. So exciting. <laughs> Here we go. Whew. Get those knees up. Keep breathing. Oh, good job, guys. Keep it going. Almost done. You can also do the tuck jumps. Remember, if you wanted to make it really extra hard. And then last thing, curtsy lunges. Whew, trying to catch my breath. Coming back, squeezing up. Keep it going. Make it quick. Make it fast. Get that heart rate up. Bottom to the back. Ooh. So good. Ooh. Oh, amazing. You did it. <laughs> now we're going to go on to our cool down, mobility cool down. So we're actually going to do the whole hip flow that we've done before but standing. So now tuck that tailbone, push onto that back toe, so you're actually getting toe mobility at the same time. Reach up, tuck that tailbone under. As you bend in the front leg, you reach up and over more. And then sit back into that hamstring. So again, hips forward and flat, back flat. Good, and then we're gonna come up, grab that foot into a quad stretch, place it in front, try to externally rotate as much as you can before you sit into it. Take it back, we're gonna open up to one adductor and then open up into the other adductor, really dropping that hip, opening that chest, and then we switch over. Okay, onto that back toe. So really pressing, squeezing that bottom under, reaching up and over as you bend. Good, taking those hips forward into a hamstring stretch. So it can actually be just right here. You can relax the foot. It doesn't need to be up. Breathing, taking that back leg, grabbing that foot into a good quad stretch, opposite arm reaching up. Try and tuck that tailbone under still. Bring that leg up, trying to externally rotate right now, and then sitting back. Good, placing that foot out into that good adductor stretch right here. Switching it over, adductor stretch. Good job. Now we're gonna do roll downs, one vertebrae at a time. Chin is tucking in. One vertebrae at the upper back, lower back. Start to fall all the way down. Your hips start to drift backwards. Slight bend in the knees if you need to. And then rolling it up, one vertebrae at a time, tucking that tailbone down. 
stacking one vertebrae at a time all the way up. You can continue and repeat that as much as you need. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like and comment below to let me know what you think and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future.